Let's say you have a business or service and you want your customer to book an appointment for your service. In today's video, I am going to show you how to add a planner or an appointment booking into your Shopify store. So make sure to watch this video until the end so you can know how to do it. And pretty much this method is going to be easy, no need to do coding. Just follow all these steps I'm going to show you today and your customers will be able to do a booking appointment on your Shopify store. Hey guys, happiness here. Welcome back to my channel and to all my subscribers out there. Thank you very much for subscribing on my channel. We keep growing every day. And if you're new into my channel, this channel is all about different entrepreneurship, online businesses and different Shopify tutorial. So if you're looking to learn more how to grow your business, how to start a business and or how to build your Shopify store, then make sure to subscribe on my channel because I am posting videos every week. So let's jump in today's video. So if you're new to Shopify, I am going to leave the link down below on my description. Go ahead and click it so you can have uh, an access to a free Shopify trial and also an access to pay $1 for every month of your trial for three months. And let's jump straight now on today's video. So after clicking the link on my description, this is the link you will see. You will get a free trial and then you can enjoy three months of Shopify for $1 per month um for three months so what you're going to do you can click here sign up now or you can even put your email address here to start your free trial so i'm just going to put my email and click start a free trial and these are just um shopify questionnaire if you want to answer them you can take this survey but you can also skip all if you want and then you can provide where you are actually going to be located you can pick where you're located from there and i am located in united states then i'm going to click next and then i am going to click to create my shopify id so i am going to continue with email continue with apple or with facebook or with google so i'm just going to continue with the email okay and then i am going to create my shopify id and now shopify is going to validate my account and set up my shopify and now i am inside my shopify admin page so this is how you can sign up with shopify if you don't have the shopify account yet but if you have an account with shopify already and you want to get started to start creating your appointment booking service then let's jump straight on doing that so on your left hand side here you'll see apps click this arrow right here and then click this app and sales channel settings and then next click shopify app store so this is where we are going to add um, a booking service app and this app is actually free so as you can see we are not going to do any coding and on the search button section type in tipo and this is the app it says tipo appointment booking so let's click on that so this is the app we are going to add onto our Shopify store. It's a booking apartment app. So they have a free plan available and there's also a seven day free trial if you want to use a pro one. And you can see so many people love this. It has 4.5 stars and reviews. Um, so let's go straight and add it. As you can see, if we scroll down on the um, reviews, it has so many five stars meaning this is the great apps and this one says great apps works great without no issue for clients so let's go and dive into it and you can see in terms of pricing you can have a free but you have unlimited appointments you provide one service you can have an access for one employee one location and you can do customizable booking forms you can integrate with zapier and appointment email notification and you can get a seven day free trial as well. But if you want to have a pro, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get all in full plan, unlimited service, unlimited employees, unlimited location. You can add even Google Calendar. You can sync into your a booking appointment into your Shopify store. And also you will get extra fields. But let's just go ahead and start adding this app into our store. So let's click add app. And next click install app. And then we can pick which one we want. We want to use the free one or a pro. So far, we are on the free plan. So 
as a beginner i would recommend you to just go with the free plan for now if you're just starting out also if you are in a tight budget we can continue using the free plan but if you have enough income you want to prioritize so you can have unlimited booking services then i would recommend you to go with the pro and it's actually $14.90 per month you can choose this plan and you will also get seven day trial so you can do that and um as you can see you are not going to be limited for anything but if you're just a beginner you just want to getting started and getting used to it and see if it's actually going to work for you then let's stick on to the free one and then select a product that you're going to offer a booking so let's say you are a coach and you're providing um, coaching services and you want to get uh, on a call like one-to-one -one, or you're providing like a service maybe like on this case how to learn how to make coffee so i have coffee classes tutorial so i'm going to search my product or the service that i'm going to provide so in this case i have here already so i'm just gonna click that and now next you have to set up what kind of capacity and duration like how long are you going to offer this service when they book on the appointment so let's say um the capacity maybe you want let's say maybe like maybe let's say you want like 10 people and duration how long is this going to be like if let's say they're going to book a call with you um they're going to book a call with you how long that is going to be is it going to be one hour two hours or 30 minutes and on the availability over here you're going to assign employees for this event so you can add an employee or you can create a new employee for this free trial we have only access to add only one employee if you want to have more than people who are going to be assigned on this event you can add them here so click add employee and you're going to fill the information and then you can set you can set the available hours when people can schedule appointment with this certain employee so this is where you're going to see the calendar so you can pick um by month year so let's say we're just going to pick um so let's say i'm going to pick monday so i can put the time from maybe 8 a.m to 10 to 10 a.m and then if i want to add another interval i can do that as well or if this person is not unavailable i can do that so i am you can apply also just for the specific of that day and date or you can apply to all mondays all of the days so i'm just going to apply to all of them and it's going to apply to all mondays and if you want you want it to show you more you can click that and more dates will be shown there and after you are happy with what you have selected go ahead and click save and now we have the employee assigned for this event and going down here and over here you can add the cut of time and the future days so you can use this section to actually prevent the last minute event for example you can prevent same day booking or you can prevent less than six hours away so you can put here cut of time so let's say I'm, I'm just gonna put one day or if you want to put hours you can do that so i'm just gonna put one hour and then future delays so you can prevent the maximum number of days in the future that can uh that customer can actually book let's say 10 days Okay, but you can pick the dates that you want you can also add the buff the buffer time before so this is pretty much like time is time needed to prepare for the appointment uh, for example let's say if you define a five minute buffer before your event um, Tipo will actually make sure that you have five minutes of free time before your scheduled event and must be less than six hours meaning 360 minutes so i'm just gonna put um four hours okay and the buffer time after which means time needed for service maintenance after the appointment and this must also be six, uh, less than six hours so i'm just gonna put three again you can put what you think is uh perfect for you and then the next step we are going to customize the calendar color so this is the color that will be pop up on your calendar as you can see you can pick different colors 
or you can even put your color code here what i will really recommend you here is to pick the color that stands with your brand just don't pick like random color pick a color that will actually stand with your brand okay so i'm gonna pick that color and this is the checkout options um so when a customer select a time slot you can either require a checkout to confirm the booking and pretty much customer will be charged for their appointment at time of checkout so this is most recommended for most event and if you don't want to require a checkout to confirm the booking then no payment is required what i recommend you is select this one so they can actually pay they can be charged for the appointment okay after they pick the date and if you want to add extra field you can do that so you can use extra field to collect more information from your customers and to do that you're gonna have to create new extra fields but you can't actually create extra new field because we are using a free plan and we can we don't have access to that but if you want to be a more um more organized um to provide more um, engagement with your customer by adding different section you can pick a pro service and if you are on a tight budget the free plan is also good that you can use so far and you don't have to add extra extra fields but just in case if you want to and your capital is um allows you then go for it and then in terms of the description this is actually going to be displayed on the booking form so I'll tell your customer a little bit um about the booking so you can add up to 250 words and then once you're happy with what you have done um so once you're satisfied with what you have created so far go ahead and click save and next step okay so the service was successful saved and now we can see so the next step is to integrate a theme we have to pick a theme so shopify has so many popular free themes there is down refresh craft sense and origin if you want to um to know how to customize you can learn about how to customize don't them i have so many tutorials that can actually show you how to do this so far i am going to pick down them and then i am going to click integrate and next okay now shopify will tell us that theme has been successful installed and the next step is check booking form so let's click here try booking the newly created service so we can click that and we can see how our booking service is actually going to be so this is the product that i added i am going to provide a coffee classes tutorial so this is how it actually going to be and it actually costs 12.99 dollars so they can select um the service they want by clicking here okay now let's go back to shopify home page and let's go to let's go to the app section here and this is the app the table appointment booking when we click it this is how the dashboard is going to be looking like you can see your pending orders you can see the paid orders you can see how many customers actually visited you and how much you actually made and this is the graph that will show you different analytics on how you are actually doing on your business and also if you want to learn more about this they have a video here that shows you how you can add an employee um you can add extra for to booking widget and many more if you want to add a google calendar then you're gonna have to upgrade to a pro version because with the free version you it won't help it won't be ever you won't be able to use google calendar uh, you can also see different employees that are going to be assigned um on this event and this is the date they are assigned on this task you can also see different agenda you can also see different services that you're providing in your store so so far this is the service which is um coffee classes tutorial uh you're going to teach people how to learn how to make coffee and this is the settings you can do different settings here and this is where you can find all your employees in their id their email as well as phone number and this is where you can on the explore and into the pro pricing this is where you can uh if you want to upgrade to a pro you can go ahead and choose a plan here 
um let's see how actually our booking service looks looks like let's click here online store click the i think to view it So this is how our booking will be looking like. This is the coffee classes tutorial and they can actually select this service, my customers, um, so they can book uh, the 30 minute call. You can add more options, one hour, two hours, and this is the pricing. And about this booking, they can click here, continue, and they'll see the calendars, the availability dates that they can pick to have um, a call and book this service so if they pick that and they can see the time this is the time we added um, on our customization and then once they select that and click continue and this is how it's actually going to be looking like and then so it's going to be 30 minutes on this date and the price will be $12.99 and then when they click confirm this will take them to the checkout and pay for the service mind you we are using Shopify and Shopify is not free we have to pay for it so to look for the trial click here go to your home page and then we can select a plan and this is the plan that is available you can pick the basic one which is most popular um and so there is basic shopify and advanced i will recommend you to pick the basic one because this is most popular one and also affordable so you can choose the basic plan and you'll be paying one dollar for the next first three months so if you choose the basic plan this is where you're going to be uh, putting your business address and your payment method as well and then after you paid everything you'll be ready to launch your booking service and start receiving different bookings so that's it for today's video i hope you liked this tutorial if you do please make sure to like this video subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching